Hello everyone, welcome back to Dedicated Dentist where we probe dentistry 32 reasons why. Welcome to another video of my functional appliance. This is about the bite planes or inclined plane catalans. So, um, this bite planes can be flat or inclined, one of which is catalans inclined plane that we'll discuss in detail. So, bite planes are basically the blocks of raisins. Uh, we'll get to it. Uh, first we'll discuss the catalans so uh, you can see i have drawn it is angulated at 45 degree it's very important that you mention how where it is indicated in the developing crossbite okay uh, so it is usually said that the moment you see the crossbite you treat it right away so we give this in developing crossbite uh, crossbite uh, will make a separate video on it but uh, just in short i'll tell it's the palatary place maxillary incisors we know there is a normal overjet but uh, crossbite is the reverse overjet okay so maxillary incisor is behind the mandibular incisor so we correct that at a very younger age so there is 45 degree angulation this is placed on lower anterior teeth uh, made by either acrylic or cast metal types are removable or fixed so this is how the we give this plane the steeper the plane will be more forward pressure will be put on the maxillary incisors since muscle forces help us we uh, this is also a myofunctional appliance now bite planes they can be flat or inclined they can contact single tooth or multiple teeth it can be designed for just the anterior segment or posterior segment you see i have drawn this image uh, there's a bite plane on the posteriors so it will cause this apically directed force and it will impede the eruption of teeth that is the teeth will intrude or go inside intrusion is the term for that so thus it, it causes uh, it produces the forces which are directed apically now another diagram here we give an ant uh, anterior bite plane so to disoglute the posterior so you can see the anteriors they have this bite plane the, again it will cause or impede eruption so there will be intrusion of the incisors that is they will go inside whereas there will be extrusion of the posteriors that will they will disoglute or they will come out of course they'll disoglute and then will extrude uh, can you guess what can we uh, where can we use this bite planes yes overbite so you can see another diagram second one there are apically directed forces so the bite planes will cause the uh, intrusion of the incisors and extrusion of the posterior so thus when there whenever there is overbite we can give the bite planes so another use incisor overbite reduction or intrusion of the incisors or differential eruption of molars and this disocclusion will also cause the mandibular growth and posterior eruption there will be downward and backward mandibular growth thus reducing the prognathism now coming to the disadvantages of catalan's appliance there will be difficulty in uh, speech and chewing patient um, cooperation is required to get the results desired results and it also requires frequent cementation and uh, since the it is given on the lower uh, anterior it is prepared on it uh, it's important that the mandibular incisors are not malaligned or periodontally compromised since catalan's is a type of um, bite plane it can also act as an anterior bite plane so yeah whenever you you get a question on this catalan's appliance or bite plane so whenever you get an saq on this you can mention everything in detail about the bite planes and catalan's